In this video, we're going to show you how to diagnose the turbidity sensor in your dishwasher. So your turbidity sensor is basically measuring the amount of particles that's moving through the water when it goes out the drain. This information is sent to the control board and which basically tells the control board the water is still dirty, I need to add more water, add more of a wash cycle, add an extra rinse cycle or lengthen the rinse cycle in order to make sure the next time I test the water is cleaner. So it does this by sending a beam of light through the water and how it reflects back to the sensor gives it the information to send to the control board. Now it uses electricity in order to read that difference in light setting and it's very very difficult to test with a multimeter like you would any other thermostat. So basically what we want to do is um, remove it, take a look inside to find out if there's any amount of dirt um, or gunk or whatever that may be blocking that light. So that in a normal cycle of running the dishwasher with just clear water, no dirty dishes, if this machine is continuing to run really long wash cycles and continually keeps adding um, rinse cycles to the machine even though the water is basically clear as it went in as it when it goes out then the problem is going to be with the sensor. Um, occasionally on some models the manufacturer is built in error codes so that if the sensor um, is not working it will trigger an error code and will point directly to the turbidity sensor itself. But the best thing you can do as, as the uh, owner of the dishwasher is just remove it, take a look inside and see if there's any amount of uh, debris uh, that may be blocking that beam of light. And if you look in this one, you can see there is all kinds of stuff inside there that needs to be uh, removed and rinsed out.